Hello there. My name is Lucas, and today I'm going to talk about a little about uh, Indy and OSR TTRPG scene from the Latin American community. Uh, what we are calling on Twitter mostly the hashtag Latam, Latam RPG, or I don't know how to spell this in, <laughs> in other languages, but it's it's I, I did a, a, a short presentation that I will present for you guys now. Some slides. So let's jump into it. Uh, yeah. First of all, I'm glad to be here on, on, and very thankful for the, the invitation. It's really good to talk about this and RPG, uh, which is something that I've been working a little bit, uh, but playing almost uh, during my adult life from since the 90s and go on and so on. I'll talk about later, uh, a bit later, about my uh, my path, the path I took on playing RPG, but uh, it confused a little bit with the history from Brazil. I'm a Brazilian, actually. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really great to talk about it and uh, and it's it's cool to illustrate something that I I've been through all these years and producing producing games and writing games and making games uh, since from two thousand and nineteen. So it's been a little that I'm working on games and but quite a while that I've been playing RPG since. So, uh, the first slide we see here, sorry, uh, this is actually the, the Latin, the, the Latin American part of the, our continent, America. So, there are a lot of people that call the North Americans, people from USA, call them Americans, but we are Americans. Uh, like this is South America and here's East Central America. All these countries were colonized by, uh, by uh, Portuguese, since like Brazil or Spanish or Spain, Portugal and Spain. So we, 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 we speak Latin language. So this is why it's called it Latin America. And uh, here is a, a map that Alex Damasceno, which, uh, close, which is a close friend from Brazil, draw for Weird Science Magazine. And here are some games and other stuff for, from our country. So it's, it's a cool illustration about the RPG scene. Uh, we can talk about this a little bit later, but here we have in Rio de Janeiro, uh, old school, an old school castle, which resembles Diogo Nogueira Productions. Here we have Into the Bronze. Uh, it's a, like a ziggurat that my close friend Guilherme Gontijo did Into the Bronze last year. And here is a samurai frog that my brother, which unfortunately passed away from COVID last year, did a game, Tiago Molin, that is called Numa. It's about uh, little frog samurais. Uh, we have more people here, so thank you to be here. And I'm really glad that, I, that I'm doing this, this little lecture about this scene. So, uh, the, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a personal point of view 
of this scene because uh, I will talk what happened to me and how I get involved in the, the Latin RPG scene, but it's quite, quite illustrates the 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 movement which which you can we can call like this uh, that get got strong strong last year and uh, so from my point of view it's I think it's a, a, a good good way to see how the scene and how the how people get involved in the RPG Latin thing or movement it's it's like it's like a movement or it's like a, more like a community to be honest so uh brazil scene and origins we have a strong rcr and minimalist games facebook community which are i was part of part of since the 2016 and so on with you know, long studies about about OS, old school and OSR games, and we discussed it a lot. And I I been watching a lot of minimalistic games uh, gems that some friends promoted in these communities. So I been reading and playing lot of lot of. Uh, minimalistic games from Brazil and from friends, from close friends. Some are not even published yet. So we, we had a very vibrant and creative uh, scene here, especially on Facebook. So we I participated on this and it is, this was like an inspiration and a, a guidance for me to to start creating things and writing things and drawing things and studying game design and and layout design uh, to to do my own stuff and this is a story from other friends also Diogo Nogueira which is a any any winner uh, game design from Brazil and a close friend did this uh, had a, has a blog? This illustration is actually from his blog, which is called "Pontos de Experiência" or "Experience Points" in English, and it has lots of very, very great discussions on that, on there, and lots of guidance on how indie and OSR and do-it-yourself culture from from these games can be explored. Uh, one very good friend also that I met, which else is from my my city, my hometown, is is Guilherme Gontijo, and he was in the inter international uh, scene before, doing some games and some pamphlets, and he was he is the one that brings some some authors like me from from these communities from Facebook to Twitter and to publish some some games on each. So the, these two guys, these two close close friends, were very active on international uh, international uh, scenario. And we this they, they actually bring uh, or open the doors from international community from uh, international community of games to to us. Uh, the actually the the Brazilian scene is continues very very active. We have a giant West Marchers. We had a giant West Marchers campaign last year. So with more than 50 sessions of game and lots of players, lots of game masters, I participated playing this West March campaign. And we have a strong local scene, local scene with, with a, daily, uh, a daily podcast called Café com Dungeon, which can be translated as Coffee with Dungeon that is 
focus focus that on indie and OSR games. It's a week daily podcast every every day on the week. Uh, not the weekends. We have a new episode, and it's really 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 great. And was really important to me and also other authors from Brazil to to talk to 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 learn about game design and game theory from from these sources. And we, like I said, we have local short games, gems, and I joined it one in 2019 and made my first first game, which called it Pacts and Blades. And this was actually the first game I published with Guilherme Montijo layout is an awesome layout art artist and he he talked about with with me because this game was only in portuguese and not lots of people were playing or really interested in this game so actually gontijo talked to me and said lucas why don't you translate this game and I made you make you the layout and we release it in the international scene in this Indian or SR scene. I didn't believe believe in him in the first uh, uh, I didn't believe in the game uh, uh, for the first time. So I did a Google <laughs> translating translation and sent him the text. He did an awesome layout work I don't know the, the game was a success with we even with this very much not well done translation uh, so I did uh, I get an, an, uh, an I, I did a, an actually good translation and some edits with uh, friends from US so I got an, an editor, which a uh, shout out to Wayne, he, who is my editor, my main editor of things, and he he did a, a good he I did a proper translation and he did a, go, a good edition on on this proper translation, and the game was on each uh, first place of physical games for two weeks, which I couldn't believe uh, in, the, in this success. So. It was actually really good to to see how open the indie scene in international scene is is really is. So it's really good to be to be there with these people. So like I said, uh, I will talk with the uh, I will give my own examples for the scene because it's the example of very much uh, other authors from Latin. So uh, my history is a common history in, in the scene. So maybe I oh. Okay. So the tag, how did the tag Latin RPG uh, got? in Twitter or who came out with the tag, this tag. Uh, we have so a very vibrant and very creative scene from Brazil, uh, mostly, uh, that needs a tag for identity. So how can our, our games that has its own, you know, uh, visual uh, writing and game designing identity it's it's quite peculiar so how can we identify it from our own production so we we did a tag that was bro osr that br is from brazil and osr because mostly of our our authors was from the osr scene but this tag was actually being used with outright uh, OSR scene, which, which is not our position, definitely not our position. So inspired by the RPG scene, France, RPG C, 
friends like Momeiros and other friends, we we started to use it using RPG Latam tag. So with this tag, uh, this actually opened our uh, our Brazilian eyes to other authors from Latin America that was so vibrant and creative, or more more vibrant and creative than we actually are. So really great uh, authors from other countries in Latin America was using, is still using the tag. And we we have close friends now from other countries and we have very great uh, games and, you know, and things being doing with this, 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 this incredible people from, from RPG Latin scene. So after creating the, the tag, uh, some of my real close friends, that is Mateus Guax, Thiago, my brother, and Bruno Prozaico, we had the idea to, to do, to do a, a RPG Latin Jam that people from all over the world create content for our games or hacks or anything using our games that uh, all of our all of our games are creative commons. So every everyone is is invited to do things, hacks, adventures, or content for them anytime they want. But we 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 decided to do the jam to to know to promote this creativity uh, effort from all over the world. As we had more entries and engagement than we expected. So a lot of people from uh, all over the world joined the jam. We had very great games, very great content, very great uh, adventures and things being made in the jam, so it was a, a success, a creative success that we didn't not expect. Uh, very, very, very cool entries. Uh, I will let you, uh, I will send you the link before. So we had, uh, this is, um, here is a sad story because during the jam, my brother Thiago got COVID and actually unfortunately diet during uh, one day after the jam was uh, was over so uh, this here is extrapolation of only games because I did a, a supplement called void of the bozo which is a supplement for his game and is actually a uh, uh, you know uh, my my last goodbye goodbye to my brother in 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 form in the, in the content format for his game so we had very great games and and you know rpg got uh, other meanings than you know only games in this jam and i can say that in the community so uh here we, we have the, the, the page. You can Google RPG Latin Jam. And in, the, in this tag, this, this here, you can see the submissions. When you have very, very, very great submissions, lots of people doing very good uh, games and things to, to other games. I actually was very happy to see lots of supplements for Pacts and Blades and other games I did, like uh, I, this is one is for from me. I did a, a West Marshes two to two or two backpack and dream, which is a Mateo Wax Mateo Wax game. So, but I we have lots of things for for packs and blades here, like these two creators that Guilherme Bontijo did, 
this new path that a friend also did. We had a new adventure for Into the Bronze uh, from from Duan, which a uh, very talented artist, uh, Latin artist. You know, we we have lots of great entries entries that you guys can can actually check out in the submissions tag here. So uh, I invited you to 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 take a look. Uh, lots of them are are pay what you want. All my things, if you guys want uh, and don't have the money to buy, you can send me a Twitter DM. I can gladly, without asking nothing, send you a, a copy. Uh, all my games, I have this policy and you, you guys are welcome to, to ask me for any games of mine. And lots of authors are, are, are like this. So we created a Discord server for the gem. I I actually did it. <laughs> I don't know how to manage Discord a lot, but uh, I created the the Discord server. And friends all over from all over the world uh, actually got in the Discord. And we creative now in this coin we have a creative support net support supportly network for uh, uh, Latin authors and glad to help any others. So anyone from the world can can come and we support artists and authors with what we can support. We we you know we have friends there that do editions. We have friends there that do layout, do illustrations, that you know that writes in collabs, and things can be for free. You know, we're glad to 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 help each other. So uh, I have uh, to to give a special thanks to Mancha Gustavo Mancha, which is a uh, which is the. <laughs> Which is actually the the person that runs the Discord because I don't have much time to to see the food and 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 things. But uh, uh, every everyone, mostly of the Latin authors, are really act, active in the Discord. I am also, but I can't see all the the, the messages and and Mancha does, and he he does a. Uh, he does a, a very good work on the on the Discord. It's a very friendly and very safe place for anyone. So uh, we made many close friends and awesome uh, with awesome authors from other countries. There is there are not only people from Latin, like I said, in the in the servers. So you know. Great layout artists like uh, Clayton Notes is there, and Marcia, who does a, a great blog, and very fr very close friends from North America and Europe, people from Jelly Muppet Publishing, like uh, Matt and, and other other close friends, are, are really active on the Discord, and we are very glad to have this persons there and we actually play games together so please join us on the <laughs> on the discord if you want you are very all you guys are very welcome to to join us uh, on the discord so uh things started working working on the discord quite well like i said games and collabs and jobs opportunities and and, you know, uh, people start working with each other and 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 supporting each other, and and very great things happen happen on the on the community with this community on the Discord. But uh, the most uh, cool thing that uh, we had in the community was the Latin breakout. Latin breakout was a huge chaos. 
run it by so Muppet Publishing, which uh, we are very thankful. I have nothing to do with this Kickstarter, but uh, I was very glad and very uh, happy to see this happening with Latin authors and very, no, proud that uh, these authors made this uh, Kickstarter and this Kickstarter was good, was really good. Uh, went went well. It was a huge success. So it is a, a Kickstarter fo uh, that have a focus on minoriz minorized Latin authors. So uh, people from all over Latin and that I mean minorized joined this this Kickstarter. So guys like Juliano Roverato, which, uh, which is a Brazilian author, create create Braves and Eat, Luna, uh, Juliano is actually a Brazilian, and Luna from Argentina, create Utria e Eterna, Wendy Yu, which is a, 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 a woman from Brazil, uh, you know, very great uh, author too, create Here, There, Be Monsters, Hashi, which is uh, uh, actually a uh, an author from Brasilia, my, my hometown, is Create Mayflies. Misha Parin, I guess, I'm sorry, Misha, but I think Misha is from Argentina also. She She's creating, they, they are creating Cantrip. Sorry. So uh, this, these people are, are really great, and I'm really proud that to see this Kickstarter uh that went so well so well we actually have have some haters already unfortunately so uh some people reacted not good to this and to my games later but we you know these people are, are not uh don't worth our attention so we simply don't mention them anymore uh, so this uh, this is already finished, but I think these games, uh, if you don't uh, bank it, bake it, these these games on the Kickstarter date, you you will be able to buy them on some Muppet Publishing. So it's it's a great opportunity, and I'm I'm sure that uh, they are great games to to come. So, where, where you all can find and interact with us? Like I said, we have the Discord server, which is welcome from, for everyone on the, on the scene and uh, on the world, so worldwide. We have the RPG Latin, Latin, RPG Latin hashtag on Twitter. And we also use it on each and I don't know, we, I, I am not anymore on Facebook, but I guess people is using it on Facebook and Instagram, Instagram. I don't have an Instagram anymore. So I guess people is using it on, on, on these other social media things too. Uh, this is a collection of, of RPG Latin, so that you can find on each. IO. Uh, there is lots of our games on drive through RPG, not mine, but from other friends. Uh, there, are, uh, my brother games Numa is only on drive through. Um, Guilherme Gontijo games and Diogo Nogueira games are mostly on drive through also. Uh, but there is a niche collection. I don't. I I think that they are using the tag RPG Latin on on drive through. But I know that Guilherme Gontijo is working on this category on drive through RPG to 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 make uh, like a uh, tag or something on there. Uh, Armanda, which is an awesome author from 
Latin also, she's from Argentina, is doing streams on Tony Plus One on Twitch. She's streaming lots of solo games, RPG games uh, on Twitch. She is actually, she that made this collection. Uh, I really uh, recommend that you guys see. It's on Voids on Twitch already. So she's reviewing and playing solo games on Tony Twitch channel. Tony is also uh, an American friend, awesome friend that supports a lot of Latin our hours. We have in the news by C.A. Berlitz, which, which is a, a friend, and he is also one of my editors. He, he speaks English and writes English very well, so uh, lots of my stuff uh, is edited by Carlos Belitz. Uh, here is his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he talks about weekly, mostly on Friday, about uh, news on indie scene. And he, of course, have a, a focus on Latin production. So you guys can see in the news uh, that actually this, uh, his, you know, his show on, on YouTube, and you guys can check all, all of our releases there. And you guys can get physical copies, like I said, on drive through RPG from other friends and from me and other, also other Latin authors on So Muppet Publishing and Exalted Funeral. I have uh, only a pamphlet on Spear Witch, but Jared is a, from Spear Witch, is a very close friend too. And I guess we have other things on Spear Witch. I, I forgot to put here, but we have there. So, uh, all of, mostly all of my things are on Exalted Funeral, and some of them are, are on So Muppets. And uh, things are coming, and lots of projects and and stuff uh, to find there. Uh, speaking, you know, in personal projects, I have a an each founding going on from a game that I released actually on Brazil SR scene first in last year, last year. No, not the last year, in 2020, sorry. Uh, that is called Mini BX, which is a mini hack, hack of D&D BX. And we are reaching all the stretch goals. We, we only have two more to come. So the physical copies of the game, which is being layouted by Mateus Guax, will be uh, available on So Muppets. And all of uh, we have adventures and lots of stuff from the stretch goals from Latin authors uh, coming also. Uh, but mostly. Uh, I have to thank you all to be here, and mostly, most of all, we, in first hand, I can tell you guys that we are doing the, the next Latin Jam that will begin in 12, 12 of this, this month, uh, so next Saturday, we'll begin the next Latin Jam, and uh, I want, I really want to invite you guys to, to come see and, you know, to, to make content for our games and for our stuff, to make hacks, your own games using our open license games, uh, and, you know, to ex exercise your creative with our stuff. We are glad to invite you. And no one has seen this, this before. We didn't talking about uh, with anyone about this jam. So in first hand, breaking news, <laughs> I'm saying to you guys that uh, we are doing the jam next Saturday. We are opening the jam next Saturday. Uh, 
So I'm open to any questions, uh, any any things that you guys want to to talk about. I, I don't know that if you, uh, anyone's want wants to open the mic or send on the chat any any questions. I'm glad to to talk about this with you guys. Hello, Lucas. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. First of all, great presentation. Thank you for for showing us your Brazil RPG scene. My question is: um, I visited this uh, this website about Latam Jam, and there are a lot of uh, a lot of games. Could you describe a couple of games, maybe three most interesting games uh, in your opinion? I would be interested in some like or, or maybe the the open source games, open license. Oh, I nice. can check it out on, myself. On the, on the collection, you said, say. Yeah, are you talking about, I'm sorry, you're talking about in, in the Latam collection or Latam Gem? Um, whatever you prefer, Latam collection, Latam Gem, any oh, any okay. of your Brazil games would be would be great to, to hear some something about. So, yes, uh, uh, I will... I stop the presentation and, and you know scroll a bit on the collection. So, sorry here. Uh, most of the games are, are open license, so uh, the very the the most uh, interesting games that I see here. Uh, here we can see two examples, like uh, my own hack or that of BX that I, I talked about early is mini BX is open. It's, it's, it is open license. We have the Legend of the Forgotten Ballad, which is a ultra minimalistic sword and songs by my friend Queen, which is open license. This game is actually really great because it it is inspired by Zelda and, uh, and other games like this, mostly Zelda and, and other the mechanics resembles a lot and it's open license. It's really cool, really, really cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see. Choo -choo -choo. Okay, uh, we have here Baku's Terrifying Cuisine, which is not a game, but it's one of the most D&D, uh, &D, in one of the coolest D&D &D, uh, uh, adventures that I ever played in my life. So it is uh, a very short and free adventure for D&D &D and very, very inspiring. We have fingertips that is a, a, a mini game using your actually your your fingers to it has a mechanic that you use your fingers to to make magic and, and it's open license it's by Mateus it's really really cool uh, we have into the bronze is actually not here but it's open license minimal RPG it's really cool. It's like a, a, a fate-inspiring, quick, uh, quick game. Really, really great to be hacked, and it's for free. It's, it's also really cool. Uh, let me see. Oh, we have uh, lots of things from Oros, and all his game. He uh, are open license uh, here is 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 his, is he his collection. He has lots of cool and free games. We have Pact and Blade from me, which is a uh, uh, it's it's open license set and it's really cool to and I really glad to to that we had hacks if we had hacks and content for for the game. Uh, you, you, all, you all are very welcome to, to make. 
Carpassi, which is a uh, into the odd hack uh, that you play with uh, insects, arthropods. Uh, it's really Hollow Knight inspired the video game, and it's really cool by my friend Victor Amorim Tordevic. Uh, we have Beyond the Borderlands, which is not open, but it's a really great content for, for, from Alex Damasceno, the Dark Knight Monster, which also my friend, and I think that these are the, the most great one. Short Sword is a really great game also, so you all should take it. All of them are, are, are most of them are, are really, you know, open and really welcome to, to anyone to make content. And uh, if it don't has the, the open license, I, I'm sure that you can talk with the the author, author and he will not or talk with me i can talk with the author uh, he will be glad i'm sure he will be glad to to open the the game text to you to make things so uh this is a cool one danger who ravens it has uh open license it's not here but i have a danger gig other game for me Swordcast from Quest from John Nogueira is open license set and it's really great to make things with him. From the Mud, other, another great game uh, using Kain, which is a, a, a OSR game from Yoga Chai, uh, an, an American, North American author. So this is a, a Kain hack, really cool. You know, I can <laughs> I can talk about uh, the games uh, all over. Oh, last one, <laughs> uh, Backpack and Dream from Mateus is a really great game, really hackable, and really uh, short and really good game to 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 do things. Most of this game, if 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 they are paid here. They have community copies also, so you can grab a free copy anytime you want. So another great game from Mancha, who, which the guy which he runs the Discord server, which is a contemplative solo journaling RPG. I play tested this; it's really cool. River Band. Oh no, <laughs> I can talk all over the the afternoon about these games, but. Like I said, most of all, uh, if if it's not open licensed, uh, or, uh, I will show you show you the the, the link uh, put in the in the in the I'm sorry in the in the chat. So most most of these games, if they are not open license, you can talk with the author, author or talk with me, and, and I can say you can, can talk with the author, and I'm sure they will be glad to get hacks or content for the game. This is, is the link of the, the of the collection. So anyone, if there is another, any another question, any other questions, I'm here. Ah, if there isn't any questions now, Nibiru, I forgot talking about this. It actually was one of my brother's uh, favorite game. It's from, uh, we have a, a really active person there which is worked on Nibiru and be really great, be really great. I will send you guys a, a, a invitation for, for the Discord server. And to, to, uh, 
here is an invitation for the Discord server. And uh, I'm glad to have anyone there to help anyone with their own games and talk about anything. Uh, any more questions, guys? Ah, oh, the, the event, we, uh, I don't have the link yet. We are writing the text, the short text. It will be up to tomorrow, uh, I guess, the, the, not the join page, but the, the subscribe page will, will be online tomorrow. So uh, I don't have the link yet, but if you join, uh, if you join the, the Discord server, uh, we will talk. We will be talking about it uh, soon, really soon. Thanks for <laughs> for buying my games, uh, Mr. Fort Sticks. Uh, I know I'm really glad. If you guys, uh, any of you, have ever played any any of my games or any of Latin outdoor games, we we seek for you know feedback. We we don't have we don't get it a lot, but it's really glad to to we're really glad to to know or to get feedback on people playing or reading or being inspired inspired by our game. So we are really open to this. So if you guys uh, ever play at anything from us for from me, it will be glad, really good to to hear you. Not not here, but not today, but anytime you want to send me a DM or or email or something, uh, I'm really open to it. To, to... Uh, here is a game from from Armando, which I'm talking about, uh, and a game from Wendy, which are really cool too. Matt, you can follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet. I will send you the. If you don't like Discord, I will send you my. Uh, my. I am there, so. You can talk to me in, in my DM or anything. Uh, if you follow me or follow any or follow the tag. RPG Latin, we're talking about uh, games all the time. So we are get, glad to, to be in other social medias. I guess uh, I, I totally, uh, I'm totally okay with people that don't get scored because uh, it can be overwhelming sometimes, lots of notifications and things, but uh, it's how we handle community from now. So I'm sorry, but we you can follow us on other social media too. Totally get, totally get. Uh, any more questions? I'm really surprised at how much people join it. Uh, it's really great to talk about RPG Latin and my own stuff and Latin stuff from for other people. I'm sorry for my poor English. I'm <laughs> I'm not the the wisest guy on English talking, but I guess you you could understand. And you have a great community. Uh, I, I can gladly run some some uh, games from Latin authors or my own games run from for you guys anytime. I, I'm in your uh, Discord, and if you if you want to reach me and play games from Latin authors or other games, and, and you know. Meet, meet up. 
we we can talk about it and play games also. The uh, I I don't know how uh, I I think I I'm gonna make you questions now. How is the the editorial market on RPG in in your country? Is is easy to get uh, books in the RPG books from you know? It's okay. It's, uh, I'm saying that because in Brazil it's quite hard to get in the RPGs. Uh, Printed copies or physical co copies here. You guys easily get some copies from, you know, the publishing publishing warehouses. Great, great. Great. Uh, we don't have uh, any translation of in the RPGs. Some few translations of thread games, but not in the games. So it's it's cool to to hear that. It's cool to hear that. Uh, do you guys buy games from Exalted Funeral or so much publishing? Oh, good, good. Yes. Call of Cthulhu is, uh, I've been playing a lot uh, since last year, last year the, the seventh edition also. Okay. So Muppet is from UK, so I guess it's, it's Europe uh, shipping. So it shouldn't have a great cost to, to buy, but you know, I, I, I have all these books, but I, I really prefer to, to read PDFs most of the times. I'm more, I'm more comfortable using and reading PDFs. So I'm just asking <laughs> for, for curiosity. Yes, I can. We can tell here that shipping costs a lot. Yeah. Sometimes more than the physical copies. Yeah. I don't know if you guys go to international cons since the pandemic. You, we are not able, but I'm planning, if it's possible, to go to Gen Con this year, so I can see some of you. There it would be great. Great. I'm playing. If the pandemic really starts starts to getting better, uh, to go to Gen Con and mostly Gen Con, not not other cons, because it's really it's expensive to travel to US from here also. So I'm planning to go to Gen Con and maybe I can meet you, some of you guys there. It would be great. We are talking about with some uh, other Latin RPG authors to that we go together. It will be great. It will be great to be on a con on Europe sometime to to play in person with other communities. It's something that I I really would like to to do. You're gonna buy both there. I, I don't know. I didn't understand. Sorry, the, the question. I buy my stuff from mostly Exalted Funeral. It's the shipping is quite good from from there, but not mostly good. Uh, one thing I, I I do a lot is to buy uh, author copies from other friends that get three or four copies from this publishing. So they sell some close friends, their author copies here. 
so uh, and mostly of my indie uh, indie books I get from Exalted Funeral. I guess I will. Finish, quick, have a quick finishing. Uh, talking about the, the, the map once more. <laughs> we have, uh, this is a, uh, this is a map that, I, that I, I can send you guys. And uh, uh, this is a challenge for, for you after, after the research of the collections to tell me which game is from. This uh, all all of these maps uh, resemble some games from Latin authors from Brazil, from you know Chile, from Argentina, from Mexico. So Mexico here. So it's a challenge for you guys to tell me later which this one <laughs> represents. Uh, I, I I don't I will not rent a place. Uh, my stuff will be like I said with Exalted Funeral and with some Muppet Publishing, mostly mostly and with Spear Witch. So my my stuff will be with these guys on Gentle. So I have friends that sell my stuff there, but it's a great idea. It's really a great idea to to, to rent some place to to sell Latin stuff on Gentle. It's, it's, it's a great idea. I didn't think thought about it yet, but it's something that I will I will give some thoughts with the community. It's great. It's a great suggestion. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you see. So. Uh, you know, the, uh, like, like I said, uh, I didn't uh, believe, I don't believe that, that, that I, I have a close friend from Brazil that earned uh, any, that winned uh, uh, any this year, like Diogo Nogueira earned, uh, winned uh, Best Adventure any this year. I don't know if it's the first Latin any someone ever got, but it's really cool to, to, to see Latin. And like I said, we didn't know these games are from Latin America and we we expecting to have more, you know, award-winning stuff from our community. Not especially from me, but from other authors. So it's, a, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be something big really soon so if you guys don't have any questions I think I think we can well we are good can we go once again thanks for for the invitation and really glad to be here uh, and see you guys soon on Discord or Twitter or any social medias. Thank you. <laughs>